Hey everyone, it has finally happened. Cypress has a native keyboard event. Well, just one for now. Cypress has added Cypress command. If you use it, there is only the tab keypress event that you can send. But it will navigate, for example, on a form in the tab index order. Let's see this in action. I already have a Cypress 14.3.0 installed. And I'm testing a form that has a couple of inputs. For example, username, notice it's out of focus and tab index one, then the email, um, then the password and so on. It looks like this. Initially you have a page and if you're on the uh, username, if you press tab, you go to email, password, then accept terms and then the login button. Excellent. Let's verify that the order of element focus is correct. So I'm going to go to my spec. I already have everything um, prepared and I'm going to start with just verifying that there are three visible error messages. And these are the messages that the user sees like username is required. Please enter a valid email. Password is required. And at the end, we can verify that none are visible. So right now this test fails because we haven't actually filled the form. Okay, we can get the username and it should have out of focus. We can uh, type uh, Joe and then we can press the tab, right? And the way we do this is by just using press and it could be a parent command. There are no other keys, right? Just the tab. And once we press it, then the email should be focused. Let's see this in action. Notice it has the email input field focused. So we can type an email. Okay, type it, press tab. The password should be focused. We can type random password, press the tab. The term should be focused. We can check it because it's a checkbox. And then after that, there should be no more error messages. Okay. So you can see how the form is processed by just using a tab and filling each input box. And right now the login is focused. And before we click on the login, we can intercept the post slash login because that's our form action. We can respond with some dummy data and we give this intercept an alias. Because after we click on the focus submit button, we want to confirm that our intercept actually was triggered. We're not going to validate the actual form sent because it uses a form data, which looks just like this. If I look at the login, right, payload, right, it looks like this. And if you want to decode it, well, I'm showing how to do this in my Cypress network testing exercises course. Uh, speaking of courses, I'm using Cursor AI right now for writing the test and I have a course for that because you've seen how quickly a Cursor knows what I expect it to do and it can even open pull requests for me with desired features so I don't even have to write much code, I just can just review the code. Alright, but this was the new Cypress command, uh, so maybe, I mean just maybe. In my future projects, instead of using Cypress real events from Dmitry Kovalenko, I will be able to use native Cypress commands.